All right, what is up, Utes fans? This is Joseph back with the Utah Utes Football Digest. And today we're going to be talking about transfer portal targets and more particularly transfer portal targets for the wide receiver room. Now, this wide receiver room we have right now has a lot of talent, a lot of talent, but a lot of that talent is unproven or just kind of flashed at times here or there. And, you know, we don't have an answer on whether or not Devon Bailey is coming back or not, but even if Devon Bailey is coming back, I think a big time transfer portal wide receiver would go a long way for the Utah Utes and really help get this passing game to that next next year, right? Imagine having a great tight end combo, which we'll hopefully have this year, and along with a great wide receiver combo, I mean, that's kind of one of those positions that we don't always do super well at is wide receiver. And imagine we got Devon Vele and another beast to line up out wide on the opposite side of him, right? So let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to take a look at the different transfer portal targets that are available to the Utes. Some guys they've already been talking to, already been whining and dining, trying to get into the program. It should be an awesome time. Before we do that, guys, please make sure you guys like the video. That'll help get it out to more Utes fans. Also, comment down below, what do you guys think about these transfer portal targets? Do you think they'll be immediate playmakers? Do you, you like these guys? What do you think? And then most of all, make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys have been keeping up with the channel, we've been getting recruits, transfers all the dang time, and it has been a really fun time. And we have been, the videos on the channel have been blowing up. You know, it, it's been an awesome time. I think we've got, you know, a 10 new videos in the past two weeks. It's been awesome. So now let's go ahead and dive in. Let's talk about the transfer portal targets. All right. And here is the first guy, Trey John Bridges. Now, this is a really high end talent in Trey John Bridges, especially coming out of high school. Now, we take a look here. He's in the class of 2019, six foot two, 170 pounds when he was coming out. He's been out of high school for a while, right? Nearly, you know, almost four years now we take a look though the guy has been in the juco ranks for a while he's been he's been grinding i don't know the entire backstory it seems like things didn't completely work out at oklahoma he winds up in juco but he's kind of worked his way up and is looking for his next opportunity and you think about it guys this guy was really sought after let's pull up the let's pull up the offer list here check it out Oklahoma, Alabama, Arkansas, Baylor, Colorado, Iowa State, or Ohio State, Oregon. I mean, he, Utah had offered him originally even. I'm just giving you guys an idea, this was a really high-end prospect. Trajan Bridges, really good player. Um, you know, a guy that we would be really lucky to have. I'm going to imagine this guy would be a difference maker athletically, a type of receiver that we just really haven't had at Utah. And, you know, it feels like the perfect fit. We're kind of a place for guys that have their head on straight. And Trajan Bridges had to go back to the, you know, the Juco ranks, you know, go through that grind, get his head back in order. I don't, you know, I don't know all the details of why he wound up there, but, you know, now he's getting his next shot. He feels like he could be an awesome fit with Utah. Definitely a guy that I'd be keeping my eye on and could be a big time playmaker for Utah next year if he comes in. All right, and here is the next guy, Xavier Guillory, guys. This is a real playmaker here. So sophomore this year, which means the guy's got quite a few years of eligibility left, right? He's a guy that can work into our system and become a Utah man, right? But let me be clear. This is not some raw talent we're getting. I don't know the entire background of why he was at Idaho State. But this guy is a playmaker. So let's go ahead and look at his numbers last year. And if you guys get a chance, go watch this kid's highlights from last year. You can find him on his Twitter. Or you can find him on, you know, whatever, on Huddle or whatever it is. But the guy is really talented. So check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games last year. This kid tore it up. Check it out. We've got some uh, some D1 football teams on this schedule. He basically just killed it against everyone he played. Two, two down games at the very end of the year, but just a wild stack of, 
a, a wild season in general. So check him out here against UNLV, four receptions for 73 yards, one touchdown against San Diego State, three receptions, 94 yards, Central Arkansas, six receptions, 90 yards, uh, Northern Colorado, seven receptions, 120 yards and a touchdown. This kid's a beast, guys. Just so you guys know, and I the tape, the stats look good. The tape proves it. You know, he's six foot two. He's got the size to be, you know, an outside number one type of receiver. I mean, imagine a guy like this lined up across from a Devon Vele. I mean, if that doesn't get you guys hyped, I don't know what will. But I would say Xavier Guillory is definitely a guy that could be a big time playmaker for Utah. I would love to see him you know, be that guy that comes over. And he's another guy the Utes have been in communication with and actively pursuing. So definitely a guy I'd love to see us bring over. All right. And just so we're all on the same page, any of the receivers I've mentioned would be guys I'd be really excited to get, but there is a number one guy that I want this. This is the guy and the other two are right up there as well, but this is the guy Dorian Singer. So during the season when we played Arizona, I wound up watching um, the USC Arizona game to, to get an idea of what we were going up against in Arizona. And I was really impressed with this guy. Lots of big time catches, making plays when they needed to be made, going up, catching one handers, back of the end zone type of stuff. Really big time playmaker, guys. Dorian Singer is an awesome receiver. And from what I understand, it's coming down to us in Arizona State right now to see where Dorian Singer goes. And if you're Dorian Singer, man, why would you pick Arizona State over Utah? Arizona State's, you know, they're a little up and down. I know they just got Kenny Dillingham, and that's exciting. But come to the team that needs a wide receiver, Dorian, and just won back-to-back Pac-12 championships, back-to-back Rose Bowl appearances. Outside of that, let's talk about this kid. Really impressive, guys. Six foot one, just had his sophomore year at a pinnacle high school. I believe that's the same high school that uh, Spencer Rattler went to. You check out this list, guys. You you look at this. Um, you look at these yards and everything. Here it is down here. So receiving stats: eleven hundred yards last year in the Pac-12, guys. Six touchdowns, a long of seventy-three averaging 92.1 yards per game. This is a very, very high-end Pac-12 receiver, and he would be a huge difference maker. Having this guy and Devon Vele lined up sideline side to sideline would spread out a defense like you guys can't imagine. We would have two of the best receivers in the Pac-12 on our offense. He would be a big deal for this offense. Honestly, Dorian Singer, you look at the game breakdown, guys. It's just, it's wild what this guy was able to accomplish. Let's see if we could pull that up here. Yeah, you check it out here. So receiving yards, boom. Let's uh, let's take a look. All right, so. All right, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight games with over 80 receiving yards. What a wild stat line. And then on top of that, three games with over a oh, four games with over a hundred receiving yards and three games with over 141 receiving yards. This kid is a playmaker. He would be a huge deal for Utah guys. He's someone I really think would be such a big deal. I know I keep saying that, but honestly, this guy's great. The PFF grade was fantastic as well. Really big time player, a guy that I'd really like to get in here. All right, guys, and those are all the wide receiver targets so far that we've been pursuing heavily in the portal and that I think would be big difference makers for the Utes. Um, and just to kind of break it down for you guys, I uh, I think we're going to have a good passing game either way. I think we'll have some good receivers out there like Money Parks, hopefully Devon Vele, Makai Cope. But getting one of these big-time transfer portal targets would be that – extra confidence that extra level of offensive production and i think would help make our offense have two deadly wide receivers and be pretty tough to stop so outside of that guys i'm gonna get out of here please make sure you guys like the video helps get it out to more youth fans also comment down below 
who's your favorite target? Who do you guys like? You know, tell me what you guys think, or is there anyone else I'm missing out on? And then most importantly, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Like I said, we're going to keep the content coming all off season the whole time. So I'm excited to be doing this with you guys. Outside of that, I'm out of here. Go Utes.